All right, good morning, guys. Joseph Tedai from Dual Survival Military and Government Special Operations Veteran. And I had to make this video. Um, again, I love getting giving a shout out to um, companies and products that, that are worthy of a shout out. Um, this is one of them. Half Breed Blades. If you've never heard of this company, you need to check them out. I own a lot of knives, a lot of cutting tools, axes. Uh, I've used them um, overseas. I've used them on my show. And I know the difference between junk and quality. This particular axe I'm about to show you is at the top of the food chain, in my opinion. But rarely do I unpackage them. Normally, I already have them out. But I want to show you something. And this you need to take into account. Take a look at how Half Breed Blades sends you their products okay this is a highly highly professional company and you can tell that by the way they put their packaging together take a look at this i have never in my life received a knife or an axe of any quality in a laser cut hard foam box presentation box i mean take a look at that i mean that's that is <laughs> When I got this, I was blown away. I was like, my God, um, absolutely beautiful. It also comes with a letter of authenticity and a um, swag patch in here as well. So um, I put this thing, I've used it, just an FYI. I've already used this thing, and I'm going to talk about it here in a minute. But um, one of the things I will tell you about this, about this axe um, is it feels amazing in your hand. Whether you're using it to chop or using the pick end, uh, it just feels really good. A lot of axes I've used before, they don't design them that you can actually reverse it. Um, this one, they thought it through. You know, it's got some stippling on here. Um, you can use this for like blunt force trauma, bu busting open a window, like if you're an EMT person or a paramedic or a firefighter. A lot of applications. Um, just a little bit uh, about, this, um, about this axe. I just want to give you some stats on it. Um, they call it their large rescue axe, okay? Uh, the steel is a K110D2 with a 55 to a 56 on the Rockwell hardness scale. Uh, the axe edge is plain polished, Teflon coated. The axe head length is 2.9 inches long. The axe thickness is 0.31. The handle material is G10. The thickness on the handle is 0.98. The overall length is right under 13 inches. You've got a um, molded Kydex uh, sheath with a safety strap on it. And um, the weight, the overall sheet weight, weight is 7.3 ounces. The axe weight is 33.5 ounces, okay? And the overall weight together is 40.8 ounces. Um, what's really good uh, <laughs> that I thought was very, very smart is they made the sheath that you can attach this either with molly or depending if you want to carry it on a belt you can attach um, this to the uh, sheath and you can put it on your belt so i took this thing out i uh, ran it through its paces i chopped wood with it um, i shaved some kindling with it uh, i pounded this into a super hard stump and i also pried open a door <laughs> in an abandoned building that was being tore down. And let me tell you, um, you can, I don't know if you get a close up of this, but this Teflon coating is barely scratched. I mean, barely scratched. And it's still sharp, really, really sharp. So anyway, guys, if you're looking for a high quality, high performance type uh, ax, this is the way to go. This, this ax by Half Breed Blades um, is a no brainer. This is gonna last you a lifetime. And uh, for those of you that are professionals in the market, like I said, whether you're military, law enforcement, EMT, firefighter, um, I highly suggest you go check out their webpage, halfbreedblades.com, uh, and check out their, their products.